CBS The Young and the Rest of Spoilers. Is Sally really pregnant? Sure, the writer was a bit too bold this time around, but I guess this situation's been around for quite some time. But it's just now emerging. It seems to be quite lately. Sally's a wild woman, and she sleeps with quite a few men. Maybe many people would say that Sally's spoiled, promiscuous, but it's not. She's trying to find a more suitable man to live with, to be protected. She's done nothing wrong. It's a reasonable need of a weak woman. Nick and Sally's first Christmas together, but it could well be the last, because many secrets are about to be broken. Adam and Nick will have a swap. What about Nick and Sally? They love each other with all their hearts, but their loved ones don't think so. It was their criticism that caused the two of them to break up, and it was malicious. Sally's past has always made her self-conscious about her life, but with Nick making up for it and making it less painful, Nick wants to make things clear and reasonable. Sally chooses Genoa to live, and she wants everything to be good and happy. She can't let things get worse. Sally's a child, and whoever it is, it must have the love of its mother. Even if no one took it, Sally never abandoned her own child. That's a strong statement. Sally has never been a mother, and that's true, but she doesn't mean she's a bad mother. Deciding to be a single mom isn't a bad idea. She has a reason for doing so. Sally is not at all pleased with Nick and Adam's criticisms. They assume that it's not their child and don't need to be responsible. But when the baby is born, whoever it is, Sally is a strong woman, and this can be felt by everyone. But she is weak in a few moments, and she needs to have the love and effort and recognition of all and everyone.